Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about what these adjustments here do on the magnifier. Because a lot of times people think that that first you zero in the optic and then you zero in the magnifier. Uh, that's not what's happening. These adjustments, they don't zero the magnifier, they center it, right? Because what happens is once you once you put your magnif your optic on there, you get your zero. When you throw your magnifier on here, sometimes uh, if you don't have the ability to to, uh, to make this uh, magnifier adjustment, your reticle could be like all the way off, you know, like at the edge, okay? So first, I'm, let me just take a couple of shots with this uh, just to make sure we got a uh, uh, a good zero. So I'll, I'll, let me start off with 30 yards. All right, I'm going to shoot the 30 yards. That was a hit. Let's go to 50 yards. All right, let's go 65 yards. Uh, let's go 75 yards. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's take a crack at 100 yards. Let's see if I can make that shot at 100 yards. Okay. So I got one hit. One hit at 100 yards. I mean, it's actually kind of hard to see it through the snow because it's kind of like, it looks kind of shady over there. Um, but anyway, this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to uh, take this screwdriver, okay? But first of all, let me see if I can give you guys a view. I don't know how this is going to look behind the camera, but let's see if you guys are able to see the image at all of the reticle okay there you go there's your image right there okay so you can see how all right through the magnifier i'm able to it's in the center now what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically just i'm going to go to the magnifier adjustment and i'm going to turn this All right, so I just turned it a whole bunch of times. Let me see where that's at. Yeah, I turned it this way. It's, it's moving towards the right. Let me turn it some more. All right, so I, I just turned that a whole bunch of times. And now when I look at it, it is like off to the right. Let me see if I can even go even a little bit further. I may have maxed it out. Yeah, I'm all the way to the, all the, way to the edge of this now. So when you look through the glass, let's see if I can get you guys centered again. There it is. Okay, so when I'm centered in the glass, all right, you see how actually bring it. You see how it's uh off to the right? It's no longer in the center, right? So even like when I get the optic zero so that you don't see shadow, that that reticle has moved all the way to the right. Okay, so uh, the question becomes did we lose our zero, right? Because I sat there and I cranked this the right adjustment all the way to the right. Let's start with the uh, 30 yards, okay? So 30 yards, we're making the hits. Let's go to 50 yards. Yeah, 
Okay, this magazine's fuck. You know, it's these magazines. I use these these uh, ETS ones because I'm constantly like dropping them, and they get in the mud, in the dirt, and they get stepped on. So that's why I use these cheap ones. But I mean, these are abused to shit. You can see how that's actually bent out over here. Let's go. Uh, let's go to seven, let's go to sixty-five yards. Making my hits at 65 yards, even though I have adjusted the magnifier all the way to the right. Let's do this. I'm going to adjust the top one, too. Right, you guys can hear it clicking, right? So I just adjusted the top one as well. I mean, just a, a random adjustment. Uh, let's go back to the 65. I'm gonna, let me go get some more ammo because this is. I'm gonna just pause this for a second. All right, guys, I got another magazine. Let's take a few more shots. All right, let's uh, let's go to the 75. Getting some hit misses there. I think the problem, I can't see the target so well at 65 feet of snow. Let's go back to the 65. Because that's a lot more in the open. Okay, so I got no trouble making the target at 65. The 75 is just, there's just too much snow and shit over there. I can't quite see it. Um, let's stick with the 65. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to just crank this the other way now. Again, making adjustments. Freaking snow out of there. I'm just making random adjustments wherever they land because it, it makes no difference as far as the zero. I'm just ra randomly going the other way. Okay, I just I just brought it over to the to some other random position on the other side. Uh let's let's go back to that 65 yards. Okay, I'm in. All right. Um, let me see. Where is this sucker sitting? Okay, let me take this off. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, when you get snow like this, like, all of a sudden, the, you know, my targets that I could normally see, I can't see them so well because of the snow and the shadows that are being created. Uh... So here you go. Let's take a look through this magnifier again. So again, once this is, where are you? Get into position. There it is. So I just went back into some. There it goes. Some random position, right? I'm just going back and forth. And so I think you guys should now understand through that experiment that these adjustments here, they center the reticle, right? Which, if I didn't have these adjustments, or, you know, basically the reticle might be like way off to the side. So this allows me to center it and bring it to the center of the glass, okay? But it doesn't change the, it doesn't change the, uh, uh, the point of aim, point of impact. Now, the, is it possible, like, if I go out to, you know, 100 plus yards, that it might affect it a couple of inches because of parallax and because of the light? Yes. I mean, at further distances, it might make a tiny difference. Uh, but let me let me show you guys something. Actually, let, me, let me close this. All right. That's let me go load up another magazine. I want to show you guys something different. I've, I've done it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, so let's talk a, 
a little bit about parallax for a second because um, let's, let's talk about what's going on with that. So what's parallax? So parallax is with, with your magnet magnifier flipped off, right? We're not even using the magnifier, okay? When I'm looking at my dot, okay, if the dot, if, if I have my dot centered in the center of the glass, okay, um, you know, I have, you know, I zeroed in, I get a certain point of aim, point of impact, okay? But then what happens is, what if I shift my head, right? So right now I have shifted my head, I've taken it off the glass, right? So that my dot is like all the way up in the corner over here, okay? So because, um, because basically I have shifted it, right? Uh, there should be a slight uh, change in my point of aim, point of impact because of the light bending, okay? Because I'm, you know, there's a curve on the glass, it's a lens. When you're looking at it, you know, when you got your face on the gun, you're in a certain position, right? And you zero in at that position, right? You know, you're zeroed in with your face on that specific position. If you shift your face, all right? So now all of a sudden, you're not looking at the glass through that same exact position. So there's going to be a slight, uh, a slight parallax change, a slight point of aim, point of impact shift, okay? Uh, how much is it? And I, I've done a video on this. You can just look up my channel name and parallax, okay? I did a video. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, in the video that I did, I actually had the gun benched. And what I did is I shot it. I shot it with my face on the gun and then I shot it looking at it through the edge like this, okay? It's tiny. At 50 yards, it was, I think, maybe like an inch, an inch or so. It, nothing major, okay? So with the red dots, because red dots are very forg forgiving on the parallax uh, um, issue. On red dots, if your face is not in the same position, if you're not, if you're looking at your red dot and it's off to the, to, to the edge a little bit, you're, you, you'll still be able to hit your target, um, you know, all the way even out to 100 yards. There might be a, I mean, you're not going to get like perfect bullseyes, but you'll still be able to hit the target, okay? So... The way to test this, you're just going to hold this, right, and move your head so that right now I'm just, you know, see how the gun's like on my shoulder, right? It's like on the outside here. I'm looking at my dot so that it is in the way up here in the corner of this window, in the corner of my optic, okay? So let's, let's like right here at the, at the 10 yards, no problem. At the 30 yards, no problem. At the, at the 50 yards. Again, all the way off to the corner. I can't, you know, I can't see the 50 yards so well. It's in the shadow. It's covered by snow. I'm going to go to 65 yards. That seems to be the best target that I can see out there at 65 yards. Let's go to 65 yards. Okay, again, it's off, it's off my shoulder in the corner of the window. Hit. Hit. Got, got three hits in a row. So with the red dots and all that, a lot of times people will say, if you there's a difference between your red dot, uh, if you get if you get a point of aim, point of impact shift when you put your when you put your magnifier on, it's it's due to a parallax issue. Okay, and what they're saying is that you know when you when you zeroed in, if you zeroed in the dot right with just the optic. You had your face in a slightly different position versus when you use the magnifier, now you're in a different position. And the reason why that would happen is when, especially with these big optics, right? Like this house on 510C, if I'm if I'm just using this big window, I mean I have to admit, sometimes I do get sloppy. You know, I'll you know, sometimes I'll just throw it up. You know, I may not be, you know, I may not be perfectly centered, right? I'm just trying to get that fast shot. And you know what? I can get away with it, right? If, if I'm not perfectly centered, I can come up, you know, you know, I'm not worried about centering it perfectly, so I can get away with it. So sometimes it is possible that, let's say when you're trying to zero in your rifle, you may not, you may not be, uh, you may not have the reticle perfectly centered in the glass as you're adjusting your elevation and your windage, right? So, so if it's not perfectly centered, and then you go to zero, you know, you get a zero, right? Then you throw your magnifier on, right? Now you go to check to make sure that you're centered. Now what happens is with the magnifier, you, you're kind of looking through a tube. 
So this really forces you to center it, right? Because with the magnifier, if I'm not perfectly centered, I mean, I can see it, right? You know, so with the, once the magnifier goes on, um, I'm going to perfectly center. So what's happening here, right? What, what people are suggesting is that when you zeroed in with the optic, you were not perfectly centered while when you were while you had the when you put the magnifier on and you were shooting with that now you were perfectly centered so that's what people will suggest now i have tested this thing back and forth <laughs> you know i'm going to tell you guys some there on, on some magnifiers there's a, there is a difference okay so even when i'm being really conscious to make sure that i'm zeroing in with the optic perfectly centered and then putting the magnifier on and making sure that I'm perfectly centered. There's still sometimes a, a, a point of um, uh, a point of aim shift, right? So a point of aim, point of impact. So there is a point of aim shift with the magnifier, all right, versus not having the magnifier. It's, it's only like about uh, max three inches, all right? But it's there. Now, so what I recommend to people is what I normally do is like, at, like initially I'll just get a quick zero at 30 yards, with just the optic, okay? No magnifier. I'll just get a quick zero, 30 yards, you know, I mean, not even perfect bullseye, just pretty much like, you know, within within two or three inches of the bullseye, right? I'm happy with that. Then I'll go to 50 yards if that's the zero that I want, and then I'll put the magnifier on. Now I'll get a perfect zero with the magnifier at 50 yards. So I have a perfect zero with the magnifier at 50 yards. What that means is for or close CQP distance, right? If, I, if I'm not using the magnifier, no big deal, right? Because if I'm off like two inches at 50 yards, you know, inside of, you know, because past 50 yards, if I got the magnifier, I'm going to use the magnifier, right? You know, um, but inside, in close distance, you're still going to be close enough with the optics. So that's why it makes sense to me to get your perfect zero with the magnifier, right? Because with the magnifier, typically you'd be shooting at distance, so you're going to want to have, a, a, you know, you, wanna, you want the gun to be as, as accurate as possible. But when you're not using the magnifier, you're, you're, why would you not be using the magnifier? Because you're shooting close distance, right? right? You're going to make those shots, right? Um, so th those are my thoughts. That's what I have developed as something practical that works as a guy that pretty much shoots every day in all weather, okay? Um, you, know, uh, you know, get a quick zero at 30 yards with your optic, put your magnifier on, get a 50 yard zero uh, or 30, whatever it is, 50 yard zero, 36 yard zero, 25, whatever you, whatever zero you want to use, you know, um, I, I like using the 50 yard zeros. It makes sense in my area because realistically, I mean, I can't really see past a hundred yards here in the woods. I had to carve out a path where I can shoot 200 yards here. Uh, so most of the time I'm going to be shooting inside of 200 yards. So that's why I wanted that 50 yard zero. If I was out in the desert, yeah, I'd probably go with the 25 yard zero, you know, so I can have that second zero at 300 yards. But I'm perfectly happy with having a 50 yard zero and a second zero at 200 yards. And I just know what my holdovers are at 400 yards, you know, 300 yards, 400 yards, or 500 yards uh, with these ARs, okay? So, but anyway, th that's the thing I really wanted to demonstrate in this video. I wanted to show you guys that the rifle had a good initial zero, right, where I'm hitting the targets. Then I threw the magnet, you know, I, then what I did is I took that screwdriver and I, and I just randomly adjusted the magnifier adjustments here. And you can see that did not change where I was hitting, all right? Because right now I don't even know where these things landed. Let me see, do I have a few more shots in this? I got a few more. Let's, let's go for a, a little distance, right? Let's see, I can barely see the 100 yards through the snow and, and, and the crap that's out there. Let's see if I can get a hit at 100 yards. Now, we're doing this freestanding, so don't expect a whole lot from me. So let's give this a shot. I got to dim this down because it's really shady in that area over there where I'm hitting this now. Let's see if I can get that hit. 100 yards. That, that's it. No hit. Oh, well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. <laughs> but anyway, you guys saw me get plenty of hits at the 65 yards that I could see clearly. You guys could probably see it in the camera pretty uh, clearly yourself. Um, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys are. Thank you to the guy that was asked. So the reason why I'm doing this video today is because somebody was asking me last night in the comments of one of the other videos uh, with regards to the adjustments 
on the on the magnifier and what you know what do they mean and uh, i just wanted to make everybody understand that it doesn't change it, it, you're not zeroing the magnifier that's not what it does it just centers it so that your reticle appears in the center of your of your glass instead of like off to the edge somewhere but even if it's way off to the edge like it was on this earlier you can still hit your targets okay i'll talk to you all soon